Hello. Well, it's Easter weekend and I'm sure like many of you, it doesn't really feel like it's Easter weekend. I'm going to try and do some more regular videos to round up what's happening in the office at the moment, how my team is working and what we're responding to. I'll start by saying uh, we are absolutely inundated with people contacting us, uh, asking for help, whether it be because they are someone who left employment and started somewhere else and then found themselves caught between the cracks of furlough. We are talking to local businesses who are telling us that they are extremely concerned about cash flow uh, and what can be done in the Treasury to ensure that they get the cash to be able to pay people so that they don't go under themselves and maintain those jobs. I'm hearing from young people who are carers perhaps and have increased responsibility. I'm also hearing from their charities who in this very difficult moment are finding that they are being asked to do more and people aren't able to donate as much. And on that note, if you're someone who regularly gives to charities at a time like this and you can still afford to do so, I would encourage you to because they genuinely need your help more than ever in very many cases. The other things at a national level that we have been very concerned about is protective equipment. We know that Oxfordshire is behind London in terms of the peak, but it's coming very soon. I'm very worried about social care, uh, the number of homes that may not have the protective equipment that they need. If you are a social care worker and worried about this, please can't be in contact with me. We've been trying to reach out to as many different care homes as we can locally, but if it's a particular problem for you, I can help, please get in contact. At a national level, there is also the supply chain issues with protective equipment. We are continuing to push on increasing testing. That's something that in my view uh, should have been done earlier. We, I, I'm very grateful that the government is now talking about increasing these numbers. I'm very supportive of that, uh, but I do think this needs to happen sooner than later, not least because we need those frontline key workers NHS workers, social care workers, porters, radiographers, all these people uh, to make sure that they have the protective equipment that they need. We are also concerned about is the ventilator supply going to come on stream? Is it the right types of ventilators? All of these things are, are what's taking up our time and all of you who are writing in with your own issues uh, as well. And I thank you for that. I thank you for reaching out. We are doing our best uh, to contact you back. We are doing our best to either signpost you to places where you can get help. Uh, at a time like this, I feel the responsibility of this role even more keenly than you might do otherwise, because I'm very aware that, you know, the people are in dire straits and in some cases, uh, the action that we help others to take may well help to save lives. So my final message is just to reinforce what all people are saying right now, please stay home, please ask for help if you need it. A massive thank you to our councils who are stepping up to that mark and providing the support to the most vulnerable. Thank you to the local groups who are also doing that. I'm looking for as many of those to come out and support as possible uh, to do videos of thanks or anything else that might be even in a tiny way helpful to keep morale up at this time. Uh, but finally, thank you to all of you who are hopefully watching this from home for the part that you're playing in our collective effort to tackle this awful, awful situation. Uh, I also hope that you see as I do the positivity that we are finding in our communities and the way people are helping each other. We have a, a street WhatsApp group that we're using. Uh, mainly it's, it would seem to help people buy wine and that's fine uh, as we go around our normal essentials and get those from shops as well. The camaraderie and the spirit's truly remarkable. Uh, and if there are, I hope, positives to come out of this crisis, it will be that. So thank you. Stay safe. Stay home.